This is the story of Bodhuniya Mathakurupan, the mythical Malimi or navigator, who is said to have brought tuna fish to Maldivian shores. One day, while on a trading journey, Bodhuniya, who was at the master at the time, busy with the astronomical calculations that helped him navigate a sea better than anyone else, spotted a large, beautiful feeler through his binoculars. He immediately called out to his men, who then caught the feeler. He instructed them to slice the fish into portions and save him the head. Bodhuniyama and his crew sailed for 88 days as they travelled to the edge of the ocean. As they got closer, the seas became rougher and a storm started to brew. They finally found the great black enderi, or coral tree. Bodhuniyama's crew, scared by the rough seas, threw a rope onto the great black coral tree and secured the boat to its branches. Scared and helpless, they fell to their knees and prayed for Bodhuniyama to save them. The anxious crew had a sleepless night as the waves knocked them back and forth. But when the next morning dawned, they were surprised to wake up to a calm ocean beneath them. As they looked out into the ocean, they saw some large fish leaping in the waters near the great black coral tree. On a piece of parchment, Bodhuniyama drew an outline of the fish and recited some magic words over it. He rolled his drawing into a scroll and placed it in a bamboo glass, sealing it shut. When the winds changed, the crew sailed on toward Piladumati Atoll, surrounded by a growing school of the strange large fish. There were so many of them that every so often, the fish would escape the ocean and land on the boat deck. As they approached Baravelikundu, they saw what looked like two large rocks rising from the sea. He knew he had to chase away the fish in case the queen damaged his ship to get to them. He threw his drawing into the dark blue waters and it sank to the bottom. The school of fish dispersed into the ocean and Bodhuniyama and his crew arrived in Feridu peacefully. There he threw his bamboo flask into the ocean and ever since, schools of skipjack tuna have been plentiful around the island. The islanders embrace this new abundance of tuna, and Maldivians now prepare tuna in many delicious ways, using both modern and traditional methods. It's smoked as varomas, prepared in curries, condensed as rihakuru, and boiled as garudia. All thanks to Bodhuniyama, the great and powerful Malemi, bringing tuna to the Maldives.